Milan, the second city of Italy that combines modern architecture with the past. Milan was founded around 400 BC and today home to more than 1.3 million people. Prepare your trip to Milan in the next six minutes and get the most out of your Milan visit. Hi, I'm Martijn and this time I take you to Milan. After Rome, the second city of Italy and the financial capital, also known for its fashion and soccer. However, I think there is so much more to do in Milan and I'm going to check it out over the next couple of days. Like a summer field, aching to be healed, just rain on me. Let's start with some information when you prepare your trip to Milan. When you can choose between the two airports here, Linate and Malpensa, I highly recommend you to fly on Linate Airport. It brings you as close as possible to the city. Malpensa Airport lies around 50 kilometers outside the city. A single taxi ride from Malpensa to the city will set you back around 100 euro and a train or bus service between 8 and 12 euros. And it will take you 45 to 60 minutes to travel from Milan Malpensa Airport to the city. And from Linate Airport it takes around 15 to 20 minutes. This trip starts with the eye-catcher of the city, the big church, the Duomo. It's not strange that it took a while to build this church. They started in the 14th century and the church got opened in 1965. Just standing in front of it, it shows you how spectacular it really is. It's one of the biggest Catholic churches in the world. Of course, the St. Peter in Rome is just a little bit bigger. All the lightning of the church has been replaced by LED lighting. Not really charming, but at least you can say a better environment starts here with the Catholic Church. My advice is to buy a ticket and sit down on the terrace. It will provide a great Milan view and also the top of the church. It's stunning. You make it real. Milan also shows you a modern part of Italy. New buildings, for example these towers, Bosco Verticale. Equipped with 900 trees, plants and hedges. Which is not bad because Milan is one of the most polluted cities in Europe. The towers get awarded as the most beautiful towers in the world in 2014. What is the best time to visit Milan? Don't do it in August, like me, because it's really hot. It feels like 45 degrees Celsius. My advice is to visit Milan in April, May, September or October. You just said, please, I think I drank too much. I said, what can I do? You said, get me a taxi. And welcome to the coolest neighborhood of Milan. This is Navigli. They couldn't stop you from getting what used to be an old harbour place has now been turned into one of the coolest places in town. Try to walk past the canals or head on to one of the restaurants. You never thought about your destination What can one do except follow you? Just like in Lisbon in Portugal, they still have old trams in service. I'll be travelling tram 1 service across the city today. It said, Milan is great for shopping, especially when you look for the exclusive brands. Bring an empty suitcase so you can bring it full back home. You will find the exclusive brands around the Golden Circle. It's a set of important streets blending together, an area in which you can easily spend your money. Another place to shop is this big arcade just beside the Duomo. If you like more creative clothes, just like me, or more affordable things, don't come here to shop, it's a waste of time. My advice is to go to a local mall in your own hometown. If you want to run, walk or sit down with your friends for a drink, the best place to go is Parco Sempione. Jump into the car on a Friday night, I wanna drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, I've never seen a sky so blue. 
What is a city without street art or graffiti? Nothing. You need some color in a city. I'm glad to say there is a neighborhood here in Milan, Isola. It shows you great street art. You look so beautiful. And don't forget to bring your camera to make great pictures. So lucky to be yours. What you may not be thinking about is visiting a cemetery. This one here in Milan is beautiful and worth a visit. Cimitero Monumentale. Give a thumbs up, thank you so much when you like this video. And if you don't want to miss any other episodes, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.